a son of Polish Jewish refugees who escaped the Nazis into Russia. In uh, 1946, my family and me uh, returned to Poland and we were settled in the western part of Poland. My name is uh, Arya Galas. Uh, I came to Soka in the year 2004 to become the director of creative arts. Uh, I was born in Tashkent, Uzbekistan. And I left Poland in 1956 to go to Israel. And in the end of 1958, we arrived in America, uh, in Chicago, about 50 some years into my total career as an artist. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to have the opportunity to put my works seen here. My work evolved all through the years. I've always done, which I wish upon my students, always did what I wanted to do. I spent my whole life being an artist. And now that, the, what am I now, 77, uh, hopefully it's still going to be a few more years to go, but it's nice to get up and think about your work. It's nice to be still able to do art and create something, not just for yourself, but to other people to see. And I think that's the joy of being an artist, that you're sharing some vision of your own. Behind me uh, is uh, a quadriptic uh, spring, and it's based upon Vivaldi's Four Seasons. And I tried to do four paintings which have a unity together, but who are within colors differences that each season might contain. This show spans almost seven years, really, of uh, artistic work. Uh, some of my early paintings, thank God to my parents that they saved my works, especially my mom in a later age. Uh, I had works here that I had from as a freshman in high school upstairs. So it's kind of a long time ago. And, uh, and then it shows works in different locations where I lived at different times. And, uh, you know, I took a, a, a break which I'm, for about 10 years, but I started doing works on in black and white, which was my 14 stations in your Dalit series, and then I returned again to color. My father was a master tailor in Lubavka, Poland, but we were resettled after returning from being refugees in the USSR during World War II. In my early childhood, I used his tailor's chalk to draw trains on the floorboards of his workshop. Friends and neighbors told my parents that I would surely be an artist. In the heart rate, drawing and reflected light paintings, I found the ideal synthesis of subject and technique. I was first attracted to this imagery on cross-country flights, noticing the organic contours of the landscape below. At night, rivers became silver threads of reflected moonlight. My drawings and paintings of this series are translated into strips of color metamorphosing into non-physical images created in the shadows of the rods as anti-shadows. I worked on the 14 stations here in Dalet drawing suite for almost 10 years. I believe that under no condition can art express the Holocaust. However, to withdraw art from confronting this horror will assign victory to its perpetrators. That must be. Survivors must affirm their humanity and existence. As an artist and child of Jewish survivors, I could do no less. The suite is based on aerial photographs taken by both the Nazis and Allied Air Forces. Growing up in the Poland among the ruins, I listened to accounts by my neighbors, both Jews and Christians, as to the suffering during these dark days. The land where members of my family were turned to ashes in the slaughterhouse of Belgians was also the flowering fields where my friends and I let her in and played. This suite is my personal cottage for those martyrs. This show is up for such a long time simply because for almost a year you couldn't see it. You know, now thankfully we can actually go in here. One of the things about doing art is you don't hide it in your closet. <laughs> you know, you like people to see it. I hope people get to see it. And the other thing we just started to say is not only is it a perspective, but I'm still making art and I'm adding to it because there's empty walls. So hopefully, uh, I just continue working on it. I hope that there's many more years left to it. I have 
I'm really grateful to have this space. I'm, I'm definitely grateful for having this beautiful place to show my work. You're looking at about, oh, probably 60 years of creativity here between upstairs and so on. So uh, some of us look at it and say, holy cow, look at this. You were a kid when you did the first one. There are points in your life that you look in a mirror all through my life and a whole changed person's looking back at you. And it's so nice to be able to actually walk around here and to see where I came from and to say to myself, well, you're not done. This is not the final kind of a thing. It's a retrospective, you know, but it's not a posthumous retrospective. It's a hope now, uh, you know, and uh, I still hope to keep painting and going and having many more exhibitions. And, and if not exhibitions, just doing the work itself, they'll be fine. So, as I said before, I'm delighted to be able to still do it. And it gives me tremendous joy to see that colors which I didn't expect are coming out of my brush. <laughs> and then I, you know, I don't know, I guess it's just pure delight and joy of being an artist.